Here's how to deploy a Meraki deployment using Hamina Network Planner. So first thing we're going to do is create a new project and we'll just give this a name and set our environment. And we'll upload a floor plan. And once we have our floor plan selected, we're going to do one extra step that we normally wouldn't do or typically don't do in just a standard simulation. And that's going to be importing our inventory. So I've already got, uh, I've already generated my uh, API key for my Meraki account. And then what I can do is go to import, and you can add your um, API key here if you haven't already done so. I've already put mine in here, so I can choose that credentials that's already there. And then what I can do is just import my inventory. So here you can see I have one unused access point, so we're going to be deploying that at this site. So I'm just going to hit the import button. And that's going to pull in my inventory. And what that allows me to do is now deploy this site. So I'm going to set the scale. And we're just going to go ahead and place that AP on the map. So I'll choose the AP that's uh, from my inventory, which is an MR18. I'm just going to place that on the map here. And we can see that signal propagation there for this type of environment. And then if that was it um, for this type of environment, the only thing uh, extra that I need to do is select that AP and then choose under here the MAC and serial number that's associated that we're going to be deploying. So if you had multiple APs, you would do that for each AP on here. You can also customize the uh, the name here if we want to call this one like AP01. Um, and let's, then let's go ahead and deploy this site. So I'm going to go up to export here and we're going to go ahead and hit Continue. And right now I just have one network that's called an attack office, but let's go ahead and create a new one. And we're going to hit create and that's actually talking now to my Meraki account and creating that network on the Meraki account. And then the last thing to do is going to be to tell which floor plans and which APs to export to that network. So I'm going to go ahead and hit export. This part of the process takes a takes a minute or so. While it's doing that export though, we can jump over to our Meraki account. You can see uh, right now I just have that Initech office in here, but let's go ahead and refresh this. And we should see that new Walrus office there. And go ahead and select that network. And while it's doing that, we can go ahead and take a look at um, our access points. And let's see if we have a new access point in there. There it is. Look at that, properly named and everything. Um, I can even go to like the map view if I want to take a look at it from like the floor plan. Um, you can see here if I select the, um, the the site here, we can drill down into that and we can see the actual location of that AP. If we want to view that, make that a little larger view here so you can see where that AP is located, the model and everything there. So that's the, uh, the, um, the deployment side, but what's really slick about this is this new live feature, right? So now that we've got that all deployed, everything's uh, uh, online and everything with that AP, um, what if I want to check on the status of this, you know, a month from now, six months from now, uh, check on this site? Well, instead of going through that whole process again and re-importing all that, now what I can do is click this live button. If you look at the bottom here, it says syncing vendor devices there. And what that actually did was it just went out and actually pulled the information for how this AP is actually deployed now. Now, it's no longer how it was simulated, but check this out. How it actually got deployed is quite a bit different, right? So if we look in here and we look at the actual transmit power, here is how um, the RM actually found that it was able to optimally configure that AP. So in the simulation, we kind of simulated the AP with some lower kind of transmit powers here. And once we actually deployed that AP, now that the AP is actually online and configured, we can see all the parameters of how RM actually configured that environment. Um, so this can be really helpful for one, not only seeing things like coverage, but also things like interference, channel utilization, um, data rate, SNR, all that kind of information. Now we can see based on how this site actually is deployed once it was actually all configured um, in, uh, in Mirac.